What's up guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Just Flight A319. Uh, this is a payware aircraft, it's about $21.99, um, it's not too expensive, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's too expensive as of now. When I bought it, it was about $51, um, and that was when it first came out. Now I'm not going to be very upset that it is as cheap as it is now, um, just for the fact that it is an amazing aircraft. Um, I'm in a virtual airline as of now, and uh, it's United, so having a nice United aircraft is quite great. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this. I'll let you guys know on a few things that this thing has to offer. Hey guys, now that we're inside the cockpit, let's go ahead and take a look at a few things that this thing has to offer. Um, basically, this aircraft has to offer just about everything that uh, any payware aircraft has to offer, and that is a functional flight director, um, Everything works. Every single button has has a job. This aircraft does have, you know, lots of different features. My favorite that a lot of aircrafts do not, op, uh, you know, offer the option is being able to switch from nav to GPS mode. This is really good when you are able to do flights that are directed by yourself. You get clearance, things like that, um, and you're able to just sit back and let your plane do the job for you. Um, go ahead and set your altitude and things like that. Um, and you know, it just makes it for a smoother flight, uh, and you don't really have to do anything other than take off and land it, um, and you get to see some pretty nice places. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, flight director here. You can go ahead and turn the on button from here, or the on on uh, on off button from already down in the console. Um, that's a great feature just for the realism. Um, if you can, you know, see that, I can perfectly see that really good. But people with smaller monitors might not be able to. So let's go ahead and just show you guys this here. All right. So basically, when you go into this, you know, you can enter your flight plan, your you know direct waypoints. Um, my favorite thing about this one is if I go to flight, uh, the flight plan, um, I can load in some already done ones that I've done in the past. Um, so it basically remembers everything that I've done in the past, which is really nice. But let's go ahead and turn that off. Another great thing that this plane has to offer is basically all of its working switches. Like I said before, all of these work, they all have a purpose, and that's pretty great uh, when you're playing Flight Simulator X. Now, let's go ahead and turn the lights on in this aircraft so you guys can go ahead and see what that looks like. Um, I will show you guys some nighttime footage of this aircraft, uh, so you won't have to worry about any of that. Everything works, your, your landing lights, your taxi lights, um, it, it all goes down to the, the turn your seatbelt and no smoking sign. Um, and that's quite great, especially because, you know, they're going for the realism factor of this aircraft. I'll show you guys a few more things on the outside. So I'll go ahead and show you guys some stuff on the outside that's really nice. Um, my favorite is the fact that, you know, I can go ahead and open up my door here. Um, which is pretty cool, especially because when I get the, uh, the you know, the, the Skyways over to my aircraft, um, it's nice to have them, uh, you know, sh that to show up so that, you know, it is there. Uh, my favorite thing is most payware aircraft have bugs. Um, all do. Uh, most have buggy spoilers. This one doesn't. They're very smooth. They're very clean. Um, as well as the reverse thrust. It's very just natural and it's stuff like that. As well as all the control surfaces. Um, you know, your left, right, up, down, a little bit of rudder. Um, as well as the livery. Uh, this is one of three liveries. Uh, the Lufthansa. Uh, British Airways, uh, Air France, and of course United. Uh, but just the fact that the you know the glare and things like that on everything um, is extremely nice. That's not a scenery pack. That's just how the aircraft responds to light. Um, it's really nice when you're landing. You can see all the lights on the bottom of the aircraft too with the with the uh, reflection because um, it is a really reflective surface. But let's go ahead and switch to night here. Um, and I will show you guys what it is like at night time.
Hey, what's up guys? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this review. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying these series. If you want to see more, let me know down in the comments below what aircraft to check out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.